our comments um, with a link to a video. So I always click on it just to see if it's one of our competitors, you know, spamming, scam, spamming us or whatever the case may be. But in this case, it was actually something totally different. This was a guy named William Lease, I think his name is. I didn't even catch his full name. I only saw it on his YouTube account. And he does this whole thing like lying about us, just basically making stuff up about us. And I'm going to address every one of his points. And I'm going to, uh, you know, he didn't give us the courtesy to ask us if any of the things that he believed to be true were, were true. What he did is he created this entire video um, basically treating that his thoughts and assumptions are fact. And in fact, they're not even close. Most of them are not even close to being f correct and just a, really a bunch of bad guesses. We could ignore it. Um, I know that. And that's what, what most people would say to do. I think you should go to William Lease's channel if you stop by there and file a complaint. And we should get this guy thrown off of YouTube. Okay, that's the first thing we should do is have this guy because there's no place on YouTube for people that are dishonest liars. And that's what this guy is. He took, he took my image, Chris Ruflo's image, and Ron Romanelli's image. He used our video, our name, our logo, and everything about it, and then used it to just criticize us, guessing as to, how, as to what we do and what we're about and who we are. And uh, I'll tell you what, man. If I was this guy, I'd lawyer up. Okay, because that's where we're going with this. But I just want you guys to know, and I want everybody to file a YouTube complaint against this guy and have him thrown off of YouTube. I would appreciate it. So the thing about this guy, he never contacted me. Okay, everyone knows I'm pretty much the most accessible guy out there. Okay, when it comes to this stuff, I'm super accessible. You guys can, um, you know, anyone can email me. My contact information is on the websites. We have do a million videos. Um, God, there's so many ways. I'm on Twitter. There are a million ways to contact me. If you have questions, you want to do an expose, you want to expose me or something like that. Well, you know what? I'll give you the honest answers. You can take those honest answers and you can create whatever the hell you want. But to take what we do and make wild incorrect lies up about it and guesses it's not okay with me i'm not going to sit by the by the wayside and allow this guy to do it it's not going to happen okay and we're going to continue to go after this guy until he's thrown off of youtube and until my lawyers get on him but i'll tell you what what the thing is is first of all he acts like he's some pro bono warrior right like he's some pro bono warrior out there fighting for the good but all he's really doing okay, is he's using my image, my name, my logo, Chris Ruflo's name, his, his likeness, Ron Romanelli, his name, his likeness, our videos, and our brand name, our copyrighted brand name to create advertising income and a buzz to his own crappy channel. It's just pure jealousy. This is a guy that does nothing, right? He's a do nothing. He's never accomplished anything in life. So what he wants to do is tear people down that have. And he does it through wild guesses and incorrect assumptions. And I, I, I'll tell you, what, this guy's just a joke. I mean, what he says on here is just a lie. He's just a liar. I mean, he just sits there and just spews lies. And then also just moronic commenting. He does. He obviously is just guessing, you know? It's like... So the first thing he says is that we're, um, we don't, for one of his complaints, okay, is that he goes over on and on, is that he doesn't like our analysis in the videos. He doesn't feel it's thorough enough for him, okay? We've done extensive research. I've been doing videos on here for 15 years, okay? 15 years I've been doing videos on here. I know how long the videos need to be. You can't do a 25-minute parlay video, okay? You can't do it. People won't watch it. They don't want to see it. We deliver what our audience has told us loud and clear that they want to see. They want a short analysis and they want the pick. That is it. And that is why we do the videos like we do them. Not your bad guesses that we don't know what we're talking about. We got tons of research, piles of research. We do this full time. Do we win every game? No. And we never claim that we do, especially with the free picks. People ask, ask for our advice all the time. You're free to watch them or not watch them. We don't force people to like watch our videos and bet our picks and, and then, you know, have people buy our picks. It's just, it's just a joke. I mean, that this guy's talking about, 
But anyways, he acts like he's this pro bono crusader. But meanwhile, the ads are running, right, on this video. You know, so he's doing it for his own self-good, okay, not to save anybody. And he, he says that basically that we're just trying to scam people into um, buying premium picks. It's not the case. We have 8 million people a month that visit our websites and watch our videos. I would say a tiny fraction of those buy picks, okay? Tiny, tiny fraction, okay? Tiny, tiny. And you know what? Those are there for people that want them. If you don't want them, then don't buy them. It, it really is that simple, you know? We have millions of people that don't buy them. It, it, they're there. We don't force people. We don't not give free picks on those games because we're giving, you know, because we have premium picks for sale. These are, this is what the audience asked for. In 2008, when I started, when I started Sports Chat Place, okay, the audience emailed me and said, where can we get your best bets? Why don't you create something where you can put your best bets? That's what they did. They said, we'll pay you for it. I'm like, no way people will pay me for it. And they did. You know, and, and so I, I built it and, I, and, and they did. And over the years, you know, I built a multi-capper one because I know sometimes my picks don't always run hot. So this way, if you have multiple people, there's always someone hot, right? These guys are professionals. This is what they do for a living. I don't care what this guy thinks or what he says or what he does because he doesn't know, right? He's just guessing and just treating it like fact. Okay, he's a weasel, okay? He's, an, he's a weasel is what he is. And he's just guessing. But that's why we have multiple cappers. This way, someone's always hot. Some people are better at one sport. Some people are better at another sport. We give people the option. We certainly don't force people to buy. We don't do any of that stuff. We're, it's not a funnel. It's not any of these things that he says. What it is, we're just trying to put people on winners. We have zillions of monetization. Money isn't a concern for us. And it's not coming from selling picks. We, have ton, we, we do tons of free picks. Our videos, you know, generate... We're a YouTube partner. I mean, we're way above him. They would never accept somebody like him into their program. Never. But anyways, um, then he says that, um, you know, the free picks are just the fun. They're not. They're, they're just, these are the games you're interested in. You want our opinion? We're going to give it to you. That's all it really is. And that is what it is. Do we advertise for our premium picks? Yes, we let people know they're available. Do we say, oh, these picks are crappy ones, but these are, these are the ones... No, we say, I try and win every single game I can. I say that in every video. But I can't win every game. I never say that I do. It's like, it's because he's a jerk. I mean, he's just a liar. That's what he is. He's a liar and a coward for not even contacting me, you know, to give me a chance to say my side of the story. He's a coward, man. It's pathetic. But um, anyways, you know, and then he looks at like some of the cappers that are on other sites. Well, they're on other sites. People have the choice to buy these picks or not buy their picks. I mean, really, it's, it's, it's that simple, you know, because they sell picks on my site. That makes me a liar and a scammer. And I am, I have zero marketable or employer playable skills. That's why 8 million people a month visit our, visit our website and, and watch our videos, right? Because I have zero, right? Turd, man. Anyways, uh, then he goes on to say why we advertise for sports books, okay? And once again, he's wrong about that as well. We only work with U.S. legal sports books. We work, you can see them on the website. We work with DraftKings, FanDuel, Caesars, BetMGM. Um, the list goes on and on. Basically, the who's who, points bet, right? The who's who of U.S. legal sports books, okay? We're licensed. We're, we have a gaming license in every state that we advertise sports books, okay? So we're not scammers, we're not criminals, we're not any of those things. As a matter of fact, they've done a massive investigation into us to give us that license. They have my fingerprints. I have to go to the police station, get fingerprinted. All these different, there's a million steps. There's these boards that in Colorado, there's like a board that you, they have to go in front of. There's all these different processes to doing that. And then what, what do we get for advertising the sports books? Not what he says, okay? Another, once again, wild guess. Okay, if somebody signs up for a sports book and clicks our link to do so, we get paid, we get paid a fee on that. Basically, like if I sold it, if I was selling this shirt, this, this hoodie online, it's called affiliate commissions. Okay, it's affiliate advertising. You can Google it. Okay. And if I sell this, this hoodie online, 
okay, and you and you buy the hoodie off my website, I'll get a percentage of that amount of sale. And it's the same thing with the sports book. I get X amount of fee, depending on the book. I have different deals with different ones. It's 100 bucks, 200 bucks, whatever, for every person that signs up and makes his deposit. And everybody has the same deal, okay? So this guy is talking about like the offshore, you know, sports books or something. I mean, he's guessing. He's, he's accusing us of something that's just, a, it's just a lie. He never gave us the chance. He never even asked. You know, I would have given, you guys know me. I give a straight answer. I'm here every single day. You know, and the thing is, he just really rips into each one of us and our analysis of, of the picks. You know, he, he doesn't like that we give out trends, you know, on the videos. People want to hear it. So we give it. We, we've done it. We've done years of analysis of what people want to hear. We're, we're just delivering what you guys want to hear. And, and, he, he, and for him, that's not good enough. And free picks are worthless, right? Then don't watch. Then don't watch, man. It, 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 it's really, really simple. Um, you know, lying, scamming tout, Ron enters the fray, is, is what he wrote, okay? Ron Romanelli is like Dean's List honor student, okay? This guy has, has like so many scholarships from colleges and offers, like for, for graduate programs and universities, it's like this guy is a nobody, okay? Ron Romanelli is far from that, okay? This guy is, I mean, to, for him to even say that about this kid, what a dirt bag. Seriously, man. You got to check yourself. Who, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, man? And, you know, the thing is, is that um, we have free betting tools at our website. We have free picks at our website. We don't force anybody to use anything. We just give our opinion. We let you say, this is our opinion. We don't get every pick right. We don't claim that. We don't make any kind of claims. We don't do anything of the sort. But this guy, I don't know. He thinks that he's like the pro bono savior of the world when actually he's just using us to try and generate income and notoriety to himself. That's all he's doing. I implore you guys to go to his channel and file a claim against him for harassment and to have him taken down. He's not what, he's not what, he's not what the YouTube community is about. And he's, not what, he's not what we're about. Thank you. Aloha. Ahui.